In the previous video in this series, you learned how to solve the simple channel with Verify and QuickEye. Now in this video, you'll learn how uniform, periodic, and Gaussian transmit jitter affect the simple channel. Use the differential eye source to specify the transmit jitter parameters. Transmit jitter is variation in the timing of the rising and falling edges. It creates a variation in the crossing times in the eye diagram at the receiver. Quick Eye selects a value from the jitter distribution at random and applies the displacement value to each edge in turn. Histograms of crossing times show the distribution of jitter. Verify incorporates the jitter distribution into its bit error rate calculation. On the electronics desktop, rename the simple channel design. Copy this design and paste it five times in the same project. Rename the copy designs according to the types of distortion as shown. Begin with uniform jitter distribution. For this type of jitter, time deviations are equally likely within the upper and lower bounds at negative TXUJ over 2 and positive TXUJ over 2. Open the uniform jitter design. Double click the eye source to open the properties dialog. Click the TXUJ property and add a local variable to control the amount of uniform transmit jitter. Assign a nominal value of 0.2 nanoseconds. Set the unit type to time. For quick eye analysis, use only the nominal value of the jitter variable. For verify analysis, add a sweep. Double click the verify analysis. Click the add button. From the variable drop down menu, select TXUJVAL. Click the linear step option. Enter start value 0.1 nanoseconds, stop value 0.3 nanoseconds, and step value 0.1 nanoseconds. Click add to enable the sweep. Right click analysis and select Analyze from the shortcut menu to start the Quick Eye and Verify simulations. On the Quick Eye plot, the histogram shows the uniform jitter distribution with a width of 0.2 nanoseconds. The eye width is reduced by about 20%. Open the Bathtub Reports dialog. Go to the Families tab. Click the TXUJVAL ellipse and select the Use All Values option. Click Apply Trace to update the bathtub curve. With each incremental value of uniform jitter, the bathtub gets narrower, indicating signal degradation. Next, open the periodic jitter design to add a periodic jitter. Periodic transmit jitter might result from a sinusoidal noise source. This distribution has peaks at negative TXPJ and positive TXPJ. Double-click the eye source. To enable periodic jitter, click the TXPJ property and specify a local variable to control the amount of periodic jitter. Assign a nominal value of 0.1 nanoseconds. For verify analysis, sweep the periodic jitter variable over three values, 0.05 nanoseconds, 0.10 nanoseconds, and 0.15 nanoseconds. Run the analyses and view the results. On the Quick Eye eye diagram, the histogram shows the bimodal distribution of the periodic jitter and a reduction of the eye width. As before, update the bathtub plot to use all sweep values. The Verify bathtub curve for periodic jitter shows successive degradation of the signal for jitter values in the sweep. For the Gaussian distribution of transmit jitter, the iSource TXRJ property specifies the standard deviation of the bell curve. Gaussian jitter is unbounded, so even a small standard deviation affects the eye width. Select the iSource and click the TXRJ button from the Properties dialog. Create a variable for Gaussian jitter to control the standard deviation of the random transmit jitter distribution. Assign a nominal value of 20 picoseconds. For Verify, sweep the random jitter variable over three values. 
10 picoseconds, 20 picoseconds, and 30 picoseconds. Run the analysis. View the results. As expected, the histograms are in the shape of a Gaussian bell curve. Although the eye width is reduced, the signal is satisfactory. The bathtub curve of the swept values for Gaussian transmit jitter indicates significant signal degradation. This concludes part four. In part five, you will see how custom jitter and duty cycle distortion impact the channel performance.